What in Jordan and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do like a summer gold glowy makeup look. I'm gonna chit chat um, about some stuff. So <laughs> obviously I'm not gonna just be quiet the whole time um, as if that was possible. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video. I am using the stuff that I hauled in the last. So if you haven't watched that, then check that out. But yeah, some new products, some drugstores, some high end, some good stuff. Mostly good. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. I really appreciate you guys. And let's go ahead and jump okay, in. Okay, so I already have my base done. We're gonna actually use these Inglot shades. I feel like no one really uses Inglot. I don't know why. I actually really enjoy, I only have these five shadows, but I really like the five I picked. So we are going to use these tones of brown. Obviously you can use any tones of brown you have like an Anastasia palette, I feel like they all have browns in them. So very neutral colors that you could really use with any palette, but I want to use those, these like glimmer, I mean, now I call everything glimmer and glow, the diamond lights finishers. So I want to have like just a color in the crease, kind of do a simple look, but I'm excited to like actually use those. So yeah, that is what we are going to do today. Hopefully I don't fall on my behind because I feel like this chair is on its way out. Okay, I don't know why, but I will list the colors down below. Do you guys have any Inglot shadows? I just feel like they're not used. I'm trying to use my single shadows more and more. Like, I feel like I always reach for a palette and I'm kind of just, okay, that was a little darker than I was planning on going in with, but it's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm trying to think of what I want to talk to you guys about. I have a few things. One, I want to know your guys' opinion on like powder foundations. I feel like that's like a big thing going around right now where everybody is like, you know, then you make it forever. Everyone's really excited about that. I am not a powder foundation gal. I don't know. Everyone says it's like better for summer, but I don't know. I just don't ever reach for them. So I didn't buy that, but I want to know your guys' opinion. Like, I think I have the benefit like powder. And to be honest, I've used it as like a, like over a liquid to like set it if I'm like going out all day and I want it to last longer, but I've never used it on its own. So if you guys are interested in powders, we can try that out. You can try it with me, but I'm definitely like, it's not worth the price tag to me to like, I just, I'm not going to use a powder foundation often, I think. So maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but yeah. Oh, Nick was out of town camping this weekend, so I had some time. I was really excited to just kind of have some time to myself. And I needed to like get this room done. I'm almost done. It feels so good to be organized. How many makeup products I found that like I just completely forgot about, to be honest, or like thought it was long gone. And I was like, oh, ooh. However, some of them have definitely not, not like I put on a lipstick today and I was like, Oh, this, this uh, feels like wax on my lips, which I'm really sad about. And then I can't remember if it always felt like wax on my lips or it's just expired. Of course, they have to start doing that right now. But yeah, anyways, I got a lot done this weekend. It was, I, you know what it is? It's not so much I need Nick out of the house. It's just more like, I'm such a night owl that when I started cleaning, it was already like midnight. And then I was up to like four o'clock in the morning. That's just how I operate I do so much more work in the middle of the night like I swear I can do way more at like four o'clock in the morning than I can as opposed to like getting up early like I'm just not a morning person this is how I've always been all right I took this up a little too far so I'm gonna have to go over that with a white eventually but that's okay anyways I decorated this nice background and you can barely see it like even when I zoom out I'm like oh I'm not tall enough to reach like my favorite shelf, so whatever. At least I can look at it and I'm happy, so that's good. But anyways, I did watch, uh, what is it called? I Love You, Now Die, I think is what it's called. It's a documentary on Netflix. I am in a documentary true crime like kick. I've always been really into them, but especially lately, like there's been some really good ones. like this year, like the Neverland one was good. The, what was another one I liked? The Olympic one was really good. 
any of the new documentaries on HBO I've been really into. So I feel like too, I like kind of like listening to like the serial podcast. I always change my mind about what I thought about the case, like compared to like how it ends. And I just find it like super fascinating. And I'm always like, all right, this isn't as cut and dry. Like as I thought it was gonna be. Like I thought, I Love You Now Die is about that case where I'm sure you guys like heard it on the news about this girl that had convinced her boyfriend to like commit suicide. And I feel like when we heard about it in the news compared to what you see in the documentary, it's there's so much deeper layers to that story that it's hard to even like, I don't know, towards the end, Nick and I both like, cause he felt the same way. He's like, no, she deserves it. She's an awful person. And then you kind of watch it and both of our minds like totally changed. Like we were both like, I don't know if she deserves to have this like ruin her whole life. Like she was 17 at the time, he was 18. And it kind of goes off that saying in the beginning, like, you know, people always said when you were younger, like if your friends drop off a bridge, you know, are you gonna do it kind of thing. And the other part is it was such a public case where I felt like the judge had to kind of like, he, there was no way he was gonna throw it out completely because you know, that's giving the message that what people can tell you what to do and then have zero consequences, especially like young people that have cell phones. Um, I don't know, that's just the one thing I feel like my parents did right. Okay, hopefully they're done mowing outside. I had to pause for a second because mm, that's how I feel about that. Okay, so we are gonna dip into a golden hour. It's kind of good I paused because this took me forever to sit there and like clink it out. Um, I will say the one thing about having nails, I, uh, I want to go in with my fingers and I'm just like, these are distracting me and they get in the way. So we will see how this goes. Okay. But what I was saying was my mom did a really good job in terms of like, but yeah, I'm a little bit older. So <laughs> uh, cell phones weren't that like big of a deal until maybe like my senior, I graduated my junior year of high school, but when I had cell phones, they were ones you had to put money on in order to like make any phone calls. And my parents, like the store to do that was like a 40 minute drive. I did not have a license. Um, and so my parents, I could just call them collect. So you couldn't do anything on the phone. It was like more so for emergencies to call them for a ride. But I can't even imagine like in today's world, but anything that like I did do AOL messenger, dial up internet. Oh. But um, she had the password to everything. She went in and checked. Like she definitely did a good job of being like, I'm not your friend, I'm your mom. We will be friends later. You know what I mean? But my point being is today, I feel like it's such a scary like world and you really don't know what's going on. But you kind of learn that this poor girl, like. She just, you have sympathy for her, which I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying that, but like you realize like she was super lonely and she kind of clung on to this guy and she also like kind of got manipulated in the situation and she just wanted attention. Like you almost like felt really bad for her during it. Like you just didn't really know like the circumstances or the fact that like he had tried to commit suicide like four times and she was only charged with like the judge had said like, I won't, I wouldn't charge you unless like it wasn't for the fact that he had called you while he was in the process where you told him to get back in the car, which there's no proof of that. There's just a, like a, a phone call of that part of it where she texts somebody after saying that like, oh, he called me and I should have told, I told him to get back in the car, which she lied a lot. Like that was her personality and she was on Prozac and she was on all these, you know, medications. Like you just realize like they were two people that just really were unhealthy for each other, like mentality wise. I don't, I don't know. It was a, okay, I'm definitely getting fallout. <laughs> it's really pretty, but there's definitely fallout. Let me zoom you guys in. So this is what it looks like so far. I definitely need to go back in through the crease, but let's go ahead and try to pick it up on a brush because I'm getting everything everywhere, which could be because I'm like, half poking myself in the eye with these nails. So, you know, but yeah, I want to know your guys' opinion. If you guys watched it, I really, it's on HBO. You guys should really check it out and see what, like if your opinion like kind of changes on that. But 
I feel like either way, like something had to happen because now people are just really mean on the internet. And I can't imagine taking that like as a, like a young teenager for sure. Like, you know, you kind of have shows like that. I could not watch like, what was it? What is that show on Netflix? Like the 13, not 13, 13 reasons. The first season I thought was really good. It was bringing awareness. Like you kind of, you know, but the second season, I just feel like they took it too far. Like I just, I did not like the second season. It was so depressing. And I was like, I can't watch the show anymore. That and Handmaid's Tale, I cannot do it. They just, they're just too dark. And I, yeah, just not my, not my thing. All right. So it's pretty. Like I said, this is one where it's like if it catches the light in the right way, it just has such a pretty shimmer to it. I am going to try to wet my brush and see if that applies it, you know, a little little tighter packed. But sorry if you're not into true crime, but I love stuff like this where like the public has to kind of, you know, it's kind of like the zero case where like you're like, did Adnan do it? Did he not? I don't know. I have so many... <laughs> I have a lot of opinions on stuff like these. But she did end up going to jail, so she got a year and a half, which is not bad. I feel like that was a fair sentencing in terms of what she could have got. They were asking for seven to 12 years. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think. But I think, I think that was a fair ruling because I don't think that she should have her whole life like I feel like a lot of people that do end up going to jail, it just, they're not rehabilitated after that. So, you know, good luck to her. Hopefully she, you know, she obviously has a lot of problems, but yeah, I just thought the whole case was like super interesting. And at the end I was kind of the same way where they're like, is this really supposed to be against the law? Like what proof do they really have as to like why she got convicted and should you be you know, responsible for things that you text. I do think that there should be some consequences, but I do think it should be a little bit more like, you know, they need to start like actually making cut and dry cases. But more so than that, I'm like, my poor kids. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be a fun mom. <laughs> Not in today's world, that's for sure. All right, so I, I do really like this. I think it works better with a brush. If you want just like litter everywhere, you can totally go in with, you know, glitter glue is gonna like help the fallout in it. I mean, I didn't get a ton, but I did get a little bit, so not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and put some liner on and then we will move on to the face. I have some new Flower Beauty and lips and all that kind of stuff, so hold on. Okay, so I use the Costa Riche MAC Eye Pencil. I, I found that one. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know where it lived for a very long time. I swear borrows though, like come live in my house. If anyone remembers that, let me know. But I used to watch that movie a lot. All right, I'm just gonna tighten a little bit and then do a nice smoky eye. Even though I probably have to take this off because I have a Amazon shift in a little bit. I'm trying to stay off prime. I looked at Lady Gaga's like line today because it's over for like pre-sale. And I'm back and forth. Let me know if you guys want to see a review on it. It's hard for me to buy something on pre-sale when it's like not going to ship out for two months. I'm like, do I really want to spend the money to not have something for two months? Also, nothing on there is sold as individuals. Everything is in sets. So I hate that because it's like I can't, it's not like you can pick which two they're like pre-made sets, so I'm just kind of like, I don't want those two colors together. I want this color and this color. And they're not cheap either. Like it has sets of like lipstick for, you get like a lip liner, a lipstick, or maybe a lip gloss is what it is. And then like one eyeshadow for $49. I'm like, I don't know anything about your brand. There's no really good swatches. It look, You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So I'm kind of still on the fence, but I definitely did not pull the trigger yet because I'm like, that seems ridiculous to me. It's frustrating. I don't like when you can't buy, I like sets if you can buy things as individuals, but give me the option, you know? 
I don't like not having the option of doing that. And all the sets are like, I think the two lip liners are $26. So that's not bad, like $13 per liner. But again, they're in sets that I don't want the whole set. Mm -hmm. Lady Gaga, why? Why? All right, so let's move on to the face now. I got this Flower Beauty. Um, this is in the shade Heat Wave, right? Yes. So we will see. I don't know if it's going to be, it looks like it's going to be okay for my skin tone. They don't really have the best as far as like, like they only, let's start on the forehead because I can cover that with my hair if it doesn't work out, but they didn't have a lot of shades. I feel like this is the deepest shade, or at least the one that I found. This took a long time to find. That's the one thing. I feel like I watch a lot of YouTubers and I'm like, ooh, and then I'm like, you are not the same color as them. That is not gonna work on you. I can only imagine how other people feel. I did wanna be transparent with you guys. I did have, you know, like, I feel like every time I do a haul, it's like questions about like, how can you afford all this stuff? Which I feel like my haul was really, tiny compared to like I had three products from Sephora you know what I mean and then I just got free samples like I didn't spend a crap ton of money and I generally don't do like Sephora hauls and stuff like that until there's a sale like I try not to spend money like that yes I still do new releases if they interest me I'm definitely like my channel growth has slowed down simply due to the fact that I'm not buying every new product like Unfortunately, that is how YouTube works. That is how people find my channel. It just kind of sucks. Like if you look at like new products, like view wise compared to not view wise, like like my everyday like videos like this, they, there might be like 100, 150 views, whereas like those will get upwards of 500. So it's, it's hard because I get what you're saying, but at the same time, I wouldn't have a channel. <laughs> if I didn't buy any new makeup. And I still, I love makeup and I make sure to try to buy products that I do love. But I'm also not the YouTuber that, um, you know, you see like these videos where it's like products I regret buying or, you know, which I will do one of those. I've actually thought about doing that for a while. But you'll notice that there's no new products in there because I don't keep them if they don't work. Like the Huda Beauty neon eyeshadow palettes that I did a review on where I was like, I really don't love this. I'll take it back. I have no issue with being like, this did not work for me. Let me exchange it for something new. Let me get store credit so I can buy something else in the future. Like I don't abuse the policy, but I also, it's there to use, you know what I mean? So just FYI, that is what I do. Alrighty. So it's definitely not bad. I'm kind of just laying it on to see what we can get out of this, but I feel like this is pretty good. It's blending out super smooth. And I actually feel like the color works. Like in the pan, I was a little bit like, is this gonna be too light? But I feel like it's a gorgeous color. Oh ho ho! Yes, please. Man, I have been to Home Goods. I have been to Ross. I have been to World Market. Like just finding decorations, Pier One. Like it is my new thing right now of just trying to like, Kind of redo a lot of stuff. I could spend so much money in those stores. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel like this is nice. I really like this bronzer. And I definitely wouldn't say like, like there's definitely products you can tell are drugstore. That one, definitely not. Like I feel like it's nice. All right, next we're gonna go blush. I'm gonna dip into this old thing. This is Flesh and Fantasy Air Blush by Marc Jacobs. And I used to really love these. Like it's very neutral toned. Um, as you can see, there's really not much color. You kind of swirl it through the color. But you guys also know I'm not a blush person. So this is this one and the peach one are like my favorites. Oh, I have this zit on my cheek. It is one of those that just hurts so bad. And it's not, it's like underneath the skin. So even though I've like put the Mario Bdescu and everything else on it, it hasn't disappeared and it hasn't like formed at all. It's just, it's just, oh, it just hurts. I don't like it. All right, so see, it's just a very nice little flush, which I like. All right, so I wanna try this, the Macaroon collection. I wanna try out this caramel. I mean, I could go with the peachy one. Let's just try it out and we'll see. We can switch it if we want to. So this is in this shade. Mon Caramel, this macaroons range. It does smell good. 
Mm. Okay. And I do like this formula. I have quite a few in these. Okay, I feel like it looks way darker in the tube than it comes out on the lips, which I am not mad at at all. You guys know I love my nudes. What do we think of this? I think it's a gorgeous color for sure. But let's try the peachy one out. I just feel like maybe like summer, let's do something new. And let's do the peach shade. All right, so this is the shade Guava Crush. I hope you guys did not take that whole story, like my opinions on the whole case thing, like in the wrong way. I do think what she did is wrong. I just feel like there's a lot of sides to it and it's a little bit more complicated than it seemed. High school is not fun. At least I, I would never go back to high school. I don't know about you guys, but I moved to three different schools in three years. I graduated my junior year at 16, and I was like, I need to get out of here. All right, we're gonna leave this color on. I like this. It's a little bit more pinky um, than I thought it was gonna be, but it still matches the, the, this one matches the two pretty well. But I thought it was gonna be a more, maybe more like peachy, corally type shade where it's more of like a bright pink, but that's okay. Let's go into this Natasha Denona. I am still in love with this thing, the Bronze and Glow. I will honestly say, I think this is my favorite product she's come out with this year. This is one that I am definitely getting my use out of and would recommend highly for summer. So I'm gonna go in with that cream shade first, just kind of put down as a base. If you guys have any documentaries to recommend to me, I would appreciate it. Or podcast. We are listening to, or I am, I don't know how to say what, we. I listened to it with my sister a little bit when I was like visiting, but what is it? This stranger next door, the shrink next door. There we go. So I'm going to go in with just this shade right here. And that's been really good. I am always surprised at how much people can like be taken advantage of. And I'm always like, could I be? Like, could I put myself in that situation and actually you know, cause you feel bad for them. And then like the other part of you is like, why? You know, like, why'd you let them do this? And then you just, I don't know. I'm always just kind of like, how did this get so far? How did this happen? But that's a really good one. If you like mystery type stuff, it's not a, like not, no crime. Like, you know, no one got murdered or anything. Okay. So it's a little happier of a note. Give myself a little mustache. Right now, I don't like to highlight down the nose, but I do like to highlight kind of right at the top. I just feel like that one looks more natural. I don't like the Rudolph tip nose. If you do, you know, you do you, but I don't feel like on my particular face shape, it looks that good. And then we're gonna take the same highlight for the inner corner. My least favorite part. We are going to take this L'Oreal Shake and Glow Dewy Mist, which I do like, but you know, I just don't like the spray. All right guys, and that is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me your thoughts down below. I'm so tired of these cars being so rude. <clears throat> anyway, so let me know what you think, what you thought of the products, all that good stuff, what you think of, watch the documentary. Let me know your thoughts. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next.